what is up everybody welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm gonna show y'all how i did this edit on my i like motion and node video so first thing you'll have to do is your main subject right here and you'll have to click on the plus and i had the square and scale it so it can fit the frame right there and put the square under your subject right there so now what we're gonna do is a gradient by background add a new effect click on add effect color and light now click on four color gradient now what you're gonna do is just simply change the colors and play play around with the settings until you have a result that you like i'll speed this part up because it is up to you so i came up with this i like the result so what we're gonna do now is add a new square scale it up now add a new effect go on proce procedural and select ribbon right there now what you're gonna do is change the square color to green a dark green like this and you're gonna have to click in the white of the ribbon <clears throat> and you'll have to change the color the way you want it to look like so i want the color of this one to be blue with the pink gradient right there to add the gradient just scroll the tint setting right there and you'll have it all right so now to mask it out just add a new effect chroma key and select the color for our case it's green so now you have a ribbon just like this and what you're gonna do now is animate it so what you're gonna do is go on phase add a new keyframe at the, at the start of the ribbon go to the end of the ribbon layer and add another keyframe and just start scrolling the phase up and you'll have an animation right there so now that you have all of that set up click on the plus go to object click on null and once you have that just click on all, your, all of your layers under the null and click on these two squares right there and click on null and do it for all the layers besides null now once you move the null they'll move all in one piece so what we're gonna do with that is a 3d kind of illusion to make it move throughout the scene so now what we're gonna do is pick the background and go to move and transform click on this z axis right there and just move it so it can go further into the 3d space and just adjust it by scaling it up so it can fit the screen again like this so now you can also do the same thing for the subject to move it out move it um, further from the screen and for the ribbon you can adjust it wherever you want it to, to be uh, I'll put it there you can also rotate it so now once you move uh, it's like a 3d camera so you can go uh, forward forward or reverse just like this so now that's how we're gonna work in this scene so now what you're gonna do is simple you're just gonna duplicate this ribbon right there and just distribute distribute it throughout the scene in different positions like this and also change uh, its uh, its colors and animation like for the animation I'll make it a little bit slower for the colors I'll just pick something like that 
it can also change its shape by scrolling the frequency up and down you also can add one more you can add how many you want but i'll just add one more for the sake of Now that you have your scene set up, time to animate it. So go on the null and click on move and transform. Add a keyframe at the beginning and add a keyframe at the end. Now click on Z axis and just move it up. So your character just like this. So now you, you can also rotate the camera a little bit. So add a keyframe at the beginning. Add another one at the end. And just rotate it however you want it. To rotate, you know what I'm saying? Just to about, uh, avoid any crops, you can just scale it up a little bit like this. You can also adjust everything in the scene if there's something that doesn't work. Like this, for example, is right up in our subject and we don't want that. It's right in front of our subject, I mean. So now that you're, you figured it out, so now what you're gonna do is simply add a graph to smooth it out on the rotation if you have one and um, the arrows, I don't know how to call it. And once you're happy with your result, just export it and we'll go on node video shortly after. Now that you're on node video, click on, a, on the plus to add a new project. Now click on the plus again, go to media go to video and pick the video we just exported so now we're, we're gonna add all of our filters and cool effects right there for the compositing so now go on the plush right there and add a little bit of glow like so now go to the plus again to add a new effect go to asset store and go to RGB, you can add a prism effect. To, to make it look uh, a little bit more trippy. And you can also go to asset store again and add uh, some glitches. Uh, so. But personally, I won't use it. And yes, so you once you're happy with your com compositing, you can export it out. And that's it. This is how simple it is to make a trippy edit on I Like Motion and Node Video. If you found the tutorial helpful, don't forget to leave a like and go subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're interested in, in to buying my VFX pack for I Like Motion users, do not hesitate to buy it. If you can't buy it, just share it. Still love. And see you in another video.